So the Orioles are childhood friends who are secretly very competitive in trying to prove each other musically. I think for us it was like the friendship was there before the music yeah. and that's something you do see less in music now. It's like a lot more people going out with the intention to start a band and we kind of like found each other as friends and then realised like, oh, like we kind of meant to like play music together. Yeah. yeah. Just music fans, I guess, first and foremost. Yeah, yeah, like, definitely. Yeah, and our fans in general film. Good. I feel like that one was a bit more like it's setting in there, like picturing people actually being in there. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, excited for it. I'm so glad that sort of now it in here, so that was like the big one really when I was doing. So having vocals and guitar and everything else with like loads of clarity on this man. I'm not saying that. I'm just not getting vibes, yeah. Yeah, I suppose you're getting a lot of fun. The vibes, I don't know man, the vibes are off. Yeah. Right now. This bit was only Oh, Andy! Oh my god. Yeah, good man. We was dead we was dead stressed for about the past month while we was learning it, but then this this week, like the latter half of the week just turned into like excitement for this gig because it's gonna be really special. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of helped my nerves, I think, that it's been like constant yeah. through the whole day, like yeah. Definitely reassuring me more and more we play it as well. So yeah, excited. Yeah, I mean, it sounded great. I was get I get mad goosebumps also, when I hear them playing. All I needed and... to do was like look at Dana on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I could see him like on his phone, like teary and all that. Uh, like, see, but... we scott sunflower seeds is like message, super it? emotional <laughs> tune for us. It's it's got a lot of nostalgia with our manager Demo, who like has heard it through the years and it's always like a really pulls at his heartstrings quite a lot. Never what? thought we'd do anything like yeah. this to this le like level of like professionalism. Mm. <laughs> Some people as well who've like maybe been to like music schools and stuff like that, like it wouldn't feel like a big deal, but for someone like me and Sid and obviously you as well, but like literally picking up an instrument by chance 10 years ago and then like kind of playing with strings, but it's like, just seems yeah, bad. I feel like that opportunity I never would have thought would come to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To come, because we used to do like, we had like hardly practice before we go on tour and stuff, and it was all like, so punky and DIY, so it's nice to have that, like both at mm -hmm. the sides, like score and string set and play with an octet and then also like turn up play with like shitty gear and you know, I've got duct tape on my guitar yeah, you're still. Yeah, a girl who can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good luck everyone, lots of love to you. Cheers. Looking forward to um, an experience. <laughs> I'll never forget. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yes. Yes.
Thank you very, very much for joining us on the day of our album release. Thank you. Thank you. 